doing back there, Jim? Well, um, basically today what I'm going to be doing is showing you basically majority of the stuff that I've made over the years. Um, some of the stuff is older than others. Some of the stuff is paintings. Majority of it is, um, I'm looking at it because it's right there. But this is mainly the stuff that I've made that, you know, you can interact with. Some of it is, um, clay, cardboard, hot glue, paintings, and stuff like that. So, well, I guess we'll just start with the many TARDISes I have. This is a TARDIS that I made a while ago. It used to be attached to, like, a hat so I could wear it on my birthday. I used to wear this as my birthday hat, but detached. And this was, I think, the second or third or fourth TARDIS I've made. This one... Right here, trying to be careful. Uh, there's a spider on it. That's that's great. I really we'll just do this. This TARDIS. Oh, the spider's moving. I may throw this down the stairs, but this TARDIS um is the biggest TARDIS I've made. I'll be right back. The first thing. This is the. I forget which one this is. The firebolt. This is the firebolt. And then this is my prized Harry Potter possession that I made. I keep it in a jar so that's how you know it's prized. This is my tiny monster book of monsters. If you can see in there. Then I'll open the jar so you guys can see the top. This jar hurts. There it is. This is not exactly Harry Potter, but it's in that realm. It's um, from Fantastic Beasts. This is actually my bow truckle that I named Timothy. And he can move his um, body parts. As you can see, I actually made a video on how to make one of these if you want to go check it out. It's two parts, and they're very long, but if you are willing to put in the work, it actually turn out great. Then sticking to Harry Potter, these are a bunch of wands I made out of a stick and hot glue. Um, this one is one of my favorites. It's Victor Crumb's wand. As you can see there, it says bird, if the camera focuses. And then this is the wand. Just put that over there. This is Duke's Commander's wand. I also made this on camera if you want to go check that out. It's my most viewed video. But yeah, made this one. This is Dumbledore's. This is the first one I actually made. Then this one, this is either Fred or George Weasley's wand, from what I know. This one was simple, one of the simpler ones, and I like the colors. This is Fleur's wand. I used the wrong color green, but yeah, there's the handle. The handle is pretty cute. That's what I like. wanted to make it. This is Luna's. Whoa. I think it's like two shades too dark, but it took me a while to just get these three flower petals when there's actually four of them. So yeah. And then this is my wand, not my actual wand that I have but I kind of made it somewhat the same size this is the wand that I got from taking the test on Pottermore is Dobby there we go there's there's Dobby as you can see he's holding um the book and the sock yeah I made that but I kind of just have it sitting on my desk because I feel like if I hook it on something because I have a keychain attached to it it break easily because he is made out of clay this was made in pre-k which if you don't know what that is I don't know if they still have those in schools because I'm in high school now but it's um pre-kindergarten basically this is the pot that I made my one of my first things as, as you can obviously tell it's not a good pot but you could actually drink out of it they made us use this stuff the glaze that you can put water in then here is a white rabbit that I made based off this one. As you can see, they're different. This one I made from scratch. I got the fabric from Joanne Fabrics. And then the leaf and the, um, this together from Michaels, if I believe correctly. Here are some of my mini works of art. This one is my, um, I'm not good with watercolors. So um, this one I was really proud of. It's just the sea, the sky, and mountains and the sun. Then this one I decided I wanted to make my own symbol. This one's acrylic paint and I decided to make the sky, then my own symbol. Then I had um, gold paint but it ran out so I decided to just 
take the stuff and like just go and make it go everywhere. This I think was the last thing I made recently. It is a pocket sized doctor. Then we're gonna get into the pillows I made very quickly. These pillows, my bed pillows, and my favorite pillow. It's the doctor if you can tell, the 11th doctor. The last thing I believe correctly I made on YouTube, this video is out. This is my Cyberman head, which I'm pairing with my Halloween costume, so stay tuned for that video. This is actually one of my most proud possessions. I'm really proud of myself for making this. If you couldn't tell, it's hot glue. The base is a foam styrofoam head because I didn't want it to be hot glue through and through, but it's very durable. These parts are wood and fabric. And yeah, this took me over a few months to get the eyes right, this right, the places right, and to smooth it down as much as I could. Hot glue is very hard to smooth down. Then this is my last thing. If you don't know what tragic ship it is, it's the Titanic, which is my favorite movie. And, well, I bought this because the Titanic just has a place in my heart for some reason. I bought it, put it together, and painted it. Well, that was it, guys. Um, if you, like I said, if you want to see my um, drawings that I've made, then leave a like on this video. I do have a bunch of them, but I prefer to make stuff like this that I just showed you over drawings. I just find them more, you know, harder to do and more hands-on and I feel like it's easier for me to do than drawing. But if you like this video, like, if you want me to explain some of the stuff more in depth or that do hickey stuff, then well, leave another like. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. I post every Wednesday. And, well, bye!